And speaking of reputation, um, there's yes. someone that has a reputation of writing some really good books. Starting yeah. very young. That's right. Our next guest wrote her first best-selling novel in college. That's right, college. <laughs> her name is Chloe Gong, and she's the author of Young Adult Hits, These Violent Delights, and its sequel, Our Violent Ends. Now she's releasing her newest thriller, Foul Lady Fortune. It's a spinoff of her other books and centers around spies in Shanghai in the 1930s. During the pandemic, Gong connected with tens of thousands of readers on TikTok, earning a massive following for her work. TikTok isn't just for dance videos, okay? It's also for recommending books, and this one is definitely worth your time. Foul Lady Fortune is published by an imprint of Simon & Schuster, which, like CBS, is a division <laughs> of the Paramount Global family. Hello. Welcome, Chloe. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. So Not as good as you, Chloe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You don't have a best-selling, no, one, two, three best Selling book. Talk about <laughs> it. This one is already going to go. Mm -hmm. Another mm -hmm. bestseller for you. Thank you. Bravo, bravo. So why did you decide to write about Shanghai in the 1930s? Mm -hmm. Well, my parents are from Shanghai, and they're very okay. proud of it. My entire family, they love Shanghai in the same way that New Yorkers love being from New York. They will always bring it up in conversation. So <laughs> they're obsessed with the history. And that's what I people was, from yeah. Harvard do, too. Exactly. Working in a conversation. Yes, I went yeah. to Harvard, but go ahead. Yeah, that's exactly my parents. Yeah. At any point, if they're seeing other like Chinese immigrants, they're like, yeah, we're from Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> so your family history kind of influenced Absolutely. This book. Yeah. So, you know, at the dinner table, if they were telling stories about the kinds of things that, you know, their relatives were talking about, Shanghai, the 1930s, the glimmer and the, gl like, all the glitz. Right. Everything I was raised with. Right. Yeah, you but you grew up in Australia, right? New That's Zealand. In New Zealand. That's why we, we detect the accent yes. there. Yes. But it's very important for you, you say, to bring the Asian culture in the forefront to your stories. Absolutely. Because most people don't write about them. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the Asian diaspora is so wide. Like, all these stories, there are so much to be told. And if we don't get the chance to tell them, it's almost as if Asian stories are like a monolith. And there's so much to be told. And mm. I just, you know, I'm so happy that I get to be telling these stories of like course. that. Of course. You started writing at the age of 13. Uh, what got you started? Honestly, I was really bored. Yeah. <laughs> I would go to the library and I would finish reading all the giant stack of books I got within like three days. And my mom would be like, we just went to the library. I cannot take you again. So I thought, okay, I'll write my own. Mm. But at 13, so, you were writing about 18 year olds, right? I was. Why? Why not other 13 year olds? You know, as a 13 year old, I was like, 18 year olds are so worldly. They're so <laughs> mature. So to I'm gonna write about these people who know what they're doing with their <laughs> lives. And then I reach 18 and I'm like, huh. Yeah. That was not right. <laughs> Somehow you know less than when you were 13. Uh, parents are always looking at kids on TikTok and thinking, put that down or read a book. Mm. And yet, here you are using mm -hmm. TikTok to recommend books? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, book talk is a huge part of TikTok now. Like, the community is amazing. Everyone has such good book recommendations. And it gets people picking up books, like going to the libraries, going to bookstores. You know, every, like, Barnes & Noble now has a book talk section. I love it, you know. Yeah, you also write about your latest book is about assassins. Where does that come from, Chloe? What do you know about assassins? You know, I joke that I'm a violent person. Uh -huh. I don't know where that comes from. Sometimes I just you love... You sound so violent person. <laughs> right, right? Yeah. Yes. I just, I love describing blood, gore, visceral things. Just as a writer, it really, it helps me get that description going when I'm yeah. like, okay, I can see the splatter of red. So, you know, assassins, I just think it's really cool. And it draws from real history, right? <laughs> like in the 30s, so much politics was going on. Yeah. But your success has come so young, at, at a young age for you. And some people are like, how could she write this way at such a young age? And maybe TikTok has made it easier for her than other writers who have who've been more established than mm. yourself. What do you say to that, that mm. people question your, your age? Well, you know, I get it all the time. They're like, what oh. What do they say? They say, you're only successful because you're young. You only got published if you're young. And, you know, of course, like, being young has its benefits, yes. where I have a lot of time to work on my writing. I completely acknowledge that. But at the end of the day, you still need to write the book. Yes. You yeah. still need to do the Talent work. has something to do with it, Chloe. And people yes. still need to want to read the thing, and they do. Yes. Right. No doubt. I mean, I never apologize for your success. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You put the work in, and you deserve it. Thank you. Um, how do you decide um, your approach when it comes mm -hmm. to writing for young readers versus adults? Ah, well, I started writing for young readers because I was so young when yeah. I started out. You know, it was really all I knew. I could, again, when I was 13, I only told stories up to being 18, yeah. right? Because huh. I was like, I don't know what 20-year-olds talk about. Taxes, maybe? <laughs> I don't know anything about taxes. Yeah. 
Uh, so now you're not just so worried about taxes either. Wait, but yeah. that, but yeah, those book checks are coming in. You know about taxes. <laughs> yeah. Now I know about taxes. <laughs> well, Chloe Gong, thank you so much. We appreciate you stopping by. All right, Foul Lady Fortune is out tomorrow. I know Chloe says she now lives in New York pretending to be a real adult. Yeah. You are a real Come adult. Come by and hang out with us anytime. <laughs> yeah, good to have you here.